You know, Sunday marks 21 years since the att- September 11th attacks. Unreal. It was that long ago. It feels like it was only just a few years ago. It's a day most of us truly will never forget. But for many others, like kids and some young adults, they weren't even alive. It's so true. And that's why this next story is so important. Now through the end of January, right here in Houston, you and your family can experience a moving exhibit honoring the heroes of that terrible day. It's called Ground Zero 360, and I am so honored to bring you this preview. They are haunting reminders of September 11, 2001. Helmets from New York firefighters. Posters of the missing. And the radio of the only female police officer killed in the attacks. Paul McCormack helped bring these treasures together for a powerful exhibit honoring the heroes of 9-11. It's, uh... It's just hard to believe it's 21 years. It's like a surreal, it's like a movie, like a surreal memory. In 2001, he was a police officer in New York City. We were really scrambling, and it was, it was just fear and chaos. Officer McCormack spent months at Ground Zero, helping with recovery efforts. And what happened pretty much immediately was people started showing up with these posters. And anybody that was in the area 21 years ago, will remember these posters went up everywhere. They went up in every bus station, every every hospital, every, every fence. fence you could see, they were everywhere. And, and it was really, it was very sad, because we knew as, as, as a police department that, that we hoped it would be a rescue mission, but we knew it wasn't, we knew very shortly it was going to be a recovery. That these people would never All these poor souls were, you know, we were, you know, we knew we were just going to try and do what we could to get closure for the families and do whatever we could to help recover the remains. And um, But people were coming up to my wife and it really affected her in a, in a very, um, very, very deep way. That And she knew that right there she had to do something to honor those lost souls and their families. So that was the genesis of Ground Zero 360. Paul's wife, Nicola McLean, spent months photographing and documenting the aftermath of September 11th. The two teamed up to bring a traveling exhibit to life. Ground Zero 360 includes artifacts and artwork commemorating the lives lost on September 11th. Rachel Gardner, an art professor at HBU, is one of the featured artists. It's really special to be included in this show, and art definitely marks history. It has throughout time. I mean, we have cave paintings that share that, um, but it also shares a healing process, and, and I, I share that with my students. The, the creative process can, can be so healing, and you can tell stories through paintings and sculpture and artifacts. Another featured artist, Chris Lewis. He's an MFA candidate at HBU, and for him, September 11th was a turning point, making him reevaluate his path in life and turning to art. There's a beautiful piece you painted of a firefighter at Ground Zero. What do you hope visitors take away from seeing your work here at this exhibit? I hope that they take away hope. I'm not, no more than just hope. You know, in the midst of turmoil, in the midst of tragedy, in the midst of the great troubles that we have went through, that we are going through, we can always find hope. And in the midst of what we're going through now, I believe that if we just come together right now, put our differences aside, that we can make this country better than it ever have been before. Paul is now retired from law enforcement. His vision is limited because his eyes were burned from dust and chemicals at ground zero. But he and his wife have made it their mission to continue inspiring others and expanding the exhibit every year. What was going to be a one-off event has turned into an 11-year journey for us to over 40 venues around the world. Our mission is to keep the memory alive and never forget the sacrifice of so many people on that terrible day. And we are so honored to be doing it. We're so honored to be here in Houston and to the families that come to the events with us that it's uh, really humbling and it makes you feel very proud to be American.
Yeah, it's all happening at HBU, Houston Baptist University. It, that is right down the street from us. And I have to tell you, for, you know, I've been to Ground Zero. I know you have. I've been to the museum, the memorial there. Um, and there's something, it, it's just this tremendous loss, I think, that everybody feels. But to see this and for people that can't get there and to have this, to, ha to have a space to walk in and have a moment to just exhale and to remember those faces and those names, it's powerful. The walls of the missing, I, I stared at them for quite a long time. And I highly recommend everyone go visit. As you heard, Ground Zero 360 has been on the road for more than 10 years now. It is only growing, including more artists, more artifacts, even visits from family members of some of the victims. And this Sunday, in a special ceremony at Houston Baptist University, it all starts at 8.30 a.m. Uh, there will be some very special moments. We do have a link to the event on our website, HoustonLife.tv.